Welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time on this channel, my name is Dr. Mike Hansen. In this one, we're gonna be talking about prebiotics and probiotics. Probiotics are live bacteria that have major health benefits. You can think of the bacteria that live in your gut as either being good or bad. The more good bacteria, the better. And there's multiple reasons for this. Not only good for your gut health to keep your bowels healthy and happy, but also for the indirect benefits to every other part of your body, including your heart and your brain. But there's a catch. Fiber, which is also known as prebiotics, comes in two forms. There's soluble and there's insoluble fiber, and you absolutely need both. There are so many foods, including bread, that have lots of fiber in them, but that is only the soluble fiber. So when you see bread with a label on it that has 42 grams of fiber, guess what? They're adding that soluble fiber after they already took out the insoluble fiber in that processing. So when they process that grain, they're removing that insoluble fiber. Now the original form of the grain, meaning the whole intact grain, has insoluble fiber in addition to other micronutrients. So the only truly healthy bread is the kind that is the whole intact grain bread, for example, Ezekiel bread. Now you can get insoluble fiber from other sources as well. Guess what they all have in common? They're all unprocessed food. For example, seeds, nuts, vegetables, legumes, whole intact grains, all provide insoluble and soluble fiber. Processed food removes the insoluble fiber and you can't add it back to the food or in the form of a pill. It just doesn't work that way. It's kind of like when you take the toothpaste out of the bottle, you can't put it back in. Now the bacteria in your gut, they really do have a mind of their own. Today, we have every supplement company coming up with their own proprietary probiotic that promises to fix your gut health. And wouldn't that be nice to take a pill and everything is all in well, right? Except that's not how it works. Now ask yourself this question, what is wrong with my gut microbiome in the first place? Is it because you were delivered via C-section and therefore you missed out on those beneficial bacteria that live in the vaginal tract? Or maybe the chicken or beef that you ate was pumped with antibiotics, which in turn killed off those good bacteria. Or maybe you've been eating a lot of unprocessed food and therefore the lack of fiber in your diet has caused those good bacteria to die off allowing for those bad bacteria to thrive and then those bad bacteria they start to eat away at that protective mucin layer of your intestinal wall and then there's these little micro leaks allowing unwanted chemicals to seep in into your bloodstream and that causes all sorts of issues like inflammation maybe it's all of these reasons or a combination of these reasons that have caused you to have your bad bacteria thriving and not your good bacteria and therefore not having good gut health. Whatever the reason, most of us do not have a happy gut. But the good news is that it's actually easy to fix. The solution is to repopulate your gut with the good bacteria, much like starting a garden. You start by reintroducing a little seed, which in this case is our good bacteria, and that could come in the form of probiotics. But in order for them to thrive, you have to create a nice environment for them, just like your garden needs a nice climate and soil. Processed food will destroy the soil, while unprocessed food will act like the fertilizer. Now, if you maintain a nice environment for your garden, you don't need to add seeds every day. Same goes for probiotics. In fact, you only need one day or two days of probiotics to repopulate your gut with the good bacteria, but they'll soon die off if you're eating too much processed food. The more processed food you eat, the more intestinal problems you're going to have, not to mention a boatload of other health issues. But guess what? If you consume enough insoluble and soluble fiber by eating enough unprocessed food, about 30 grams of fiber per day for most people, your gut will automatically allow for those good bacteria to thrive within two days. So the takeaway message is that probiotics are only gonna be useful if you have a nice hospital environment for your good bacteria to live in. Therefore, you need to eat unprocessed food for them to thrive and for them to keep thriving. Just like you don't try growing a garden from seeds, but the soil is nothing but clay.